Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you and your family members are keeping well. Today I have come up with a new video where I have tried capturing the necessary steps and my experiences that I have followed to crack the AWS certified cloud practitioner exam. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So as you can see in my screen, I have mentioned the steps 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 prerequisite step. The first step is getting the timeline. So what do I mean by this is, with regards to the number of years of experience each of you guys have in AWS, based on that, you get the timeline. Meaning, when you want to write this specific exam. For example, if I have to say or consider my case, where I'm having three plus years of working experience in AWS. So based on that, I have decided, okay, I need at least a week to practice all the non or not covered topics. And then once I'm ready, I'll be doing the further practice. And then finally, I'll be writing the exam. So combining all of this, I decided, okay, I need at least a week. So once I have that date or that timeline, I book the slot then and there without think, thinking twice because you know once you have this slot booked right you will be thinking okay you know on that day I have to write the exam so you will be planning your day accordingly otherwise you know I am not sure if you are part of a victim of pro procrastination if you are not part of that definitely very good if yes then I think this is one way to you know get rid of such things. So in short, once you evaluate the timeline, make sure that you book the timeline because, sorry, book the slot because this has helped me a lot to uh, crack this exam. Now, how to book the or how to register for exam and all those things, I have shared the link. I'll come to this at the later stage, but let's discuss the next step, which is sources that I have followed. So first one is a cloud guru. And the second one is explore skill builder dot AWS. So this is from the AWS side, you know, where you can practice the topics that are part of this specific certification. But at the same time, my first preference was a cloud guru.com. This is the platform where you can find the consolidated view of all the topics that are needed to study for this specification for this specific certification. So as you can see in the screen, you know, once you log in, uh, you can see all the details here. Now, for this specific certificate, if you're not seeing this screen, just search, you know, the table of content in the search about that certification uh, or probably with this code. And then you'll find that link. Click on that link and you'll be seeing all these topics here. Right now, as I said, based on your experience, you can uh, go to the topics in detail or you can escape it. All those things you have to decide by your own. And as I said, those things will come based on the number of experience, years of experience you have. If you have zero years of experience, then I would suggest go through each of the topics in detail. Don't skip anything. Again, this is my experience. You know, if you skip anything and the question, if, if the in the exam, if any question comes with a similar topic, you will definitely regret it. So don't skip anything if you don't have any years or any experience now go through all these topics and once you cover the topics right if you see here the last four practice exam so they allow or they give you the four set of practice exam so once you cover all the topics you can simply you know write this practice exam before i deep dive into this exam i must tell you this is the platform where basically they have mimicked the or replicated the user experience that we actually face while writing the you know actual exam right so whatever the user interface the type of you know escape not escape review later all the options they have covered as part of these practice exams so it has helped me a lot you know to gain such experience because even I was not having any experience for this specific uh, exam so this specific platform has uh, has helped a lot to you know gain that experience. 
Now, as you see here, it is exactly 90 minutes uh, duration for 65 questions. And that is what you will be getting in the actual, actual exam as, as well. So once you click on take a practice exam, they'll ask you to, you know, register for or upgrade your plans. So once you do so, I would suggest go for it because they give you eight days trial time. Right. That's what I'm saying. This specific step, you know, getting the timeline is very important. And once you get the timeline, you'll get the context. OK, when you have to upgrade your plan so that you'll be having that eight days of trial uh, trial uh, duration right so once you cover all the topics you are confident yes i'm ready to write the exam and before that i want to do some practice test so go and upgrade the plan and then once you upgrade it you'll be having eight days window uh, frame and in that eight days you can practice for four to five days uh, with this exam set and then on the final day you can write the exam so to summarize, this platform not only covers the topics that are covered as part of the or that are needed to understand for this specific certification, but also it gives you a practice sets of question papers that you can practice to gain the actual or to gain the you know actual feeling of writing the exam. And this will really help you if you're writing the exam first time. And as you can see, the attempt history, you know, that I have uh, performed or, or probably written on this practice exam so you can register for uh, a cloud group and then you can find all the consolidated patterns or topics everything and then just go for it then explore skillbuilder.aws so this is again you know again uh, another uh, platform where you can why is that yeah where you can um, sorry uh, just click on that yeah where you can practice these um, AWS certification courses I think I have written uh, a practice exam for this as well but in this case you'll be getting only uh, I think limited set of questions not 65 questions in that the beauty is you will be getting the 65 question set for four practice papers or practice question papers so that's the beauty of that platform but in this case if i remember correctly you'll be getting only 20 questions which is again uh, very less but you can get the you know confident like okay whatever you have studied studied is well enough or not see 30 30 minutes that's all and it has limited set of questions which i have written so again uh, once you are done with your topics i would suggest try to practice as much as you can through the various platform. I have chosen Skill Builder and this A Cloud Guru platform. Now, the fourth one says practice. As I said, first go through the all the topics irrespective of you have you are experienced uh, engineer or not, or experienced candidate or not, go through all the topics once at least. If you have experience, as I said, at least go through all the topics if you don't have experience then definitely you have to go through all the topics probably multiple times and then keep practicing it you know uh, and about this platform again the good thing is as soon as you cover the topic you know they'll give you the again uh, question papers or question sets for those topics so you can practice you know you can test your skills or your learnings so that's another beauty of this platform and which has helped a lot at least to me to crack this exam now the prerequisite step is create an aws account and explore the services while studying i hope it is clear what i'm trying to say here is before you start the before you start studying about these topics as part of this syllabus make sure that you have the free tier aws account you know if you're creating the aws account first time you'll be getting a free tier make sure that you create that so that once you go to the topics they'll they'll be having or they'll be guiding you through the uh, you know on i think there's a labs also so once you have the account you can go through those labs and then you can practice it if you ask me again this has helped me a lot to visualize you know when you see the question on the screen right you can visualize okay you know i have performed this 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 
and then you can derive or reach to this answer so don't simply read about the topics or contents at the same time do a practice as well and you can do that only when you have the AWS account created okay to summarize these are the four steps and a uh, prerequisite, prerequisite step is definitely you know having an account and then exploring the services while studying but more importantly these are the four steps that has helped me a lot to crack this exam and uh, you know definitely I, I, give, I would give a lot of credit to this platform where I have simply found out all the necessary topics with the very nice explanation by the tutor uh, with no cost uh, from this platform again I'm not doing any advertisement here but I'm just uh, sharing my experience uh, that has helped me to crack this exam now once you are done with this uh, you know study and then uh, everything and now you are at the stage where you have to book a slot so simply click on this link and then once you click on this link it will uh, take you to this page click on go to your account and once you click on go to your account you will come to this specific page sorry this specific page and then click on exam registration and then register for an exam so once you click on register for an exam I think session got expired so let me click on it and once you click on uh, that okay so I have to re-log in again right so let me refresh this page right as you can see register for an exam option so once you do you will find that option C CLF001 and then schedule with uh, Pearson VU so what do you, what do we mean by this is like there are two options either you can choose a center and then you can write the exam online but when you write the exam online make sure that you have the good internet connection and you are sitting uh, in the area where you know nothing uh, there is no much noise there is a basically empty space why because you know once you write the exam on the exam date before that exam gets started there will be a coordinator who will be in touch with you and they'll ask you to show the area and you have to turn on your camera right so so they'll be checking all those things before you start the exam hence because that has happened with me <laughs> and hence uh, you have to ensure that wherever you are from wherever you are writing the exam that area sorry that yeah that area is uh, you know nicely clean and uh, there is no internet connection or internet disturbance sorry there is no inter internet disturbance basically there is a well connectivity to write the exam so uh, click on this and once you do that right you will be getting the final confirmation something like this post payment and as you can see here I have written this exam on probably 2nd of October if I am not wrong yeah like I have booked on 1st of October and then I have written the exam on 1st of October um, sorry 2nd of October and as you can see here like unit price is 100 rupees and then 18 percent is tax so it comes like 118 uh, dollar and this will be in dollar you know and the total amount is something like uh, 9000 something rupees if you convert that to uh, what do you call it? in rupees right so this is how you can book the slot and then once you book the slot uh, you know and and when you pass the exam let me show you the certification that I have got after uh, passing the exam so the, the so don't get confused you know let's say I am hoping everyone whoever is writing this exam they got they, they'll be getting passed in the first attempt but when you get passed in the screen itself right after the test you'll be seeing okay you you have successfully passed the exam but you won't be getting any confirmation email uh, immediately I think they take probably some time uh, probably a day or probably more than a day to get the or to send you the certification right so once you crack the exam you will see that uh, certification something like this like this 
So Vikas Chaudhary, see, I have uh, told you, right? So I have written this exam on 2nd October. Uh, I passed with 803 score. So my score was 803, okay? I was thinking like, I know, I was confident that I'll be, you know, scoring like at least 700 marks and uh, I scored 803, but my, you know, my target was like 850 around something uh, based on the, you know, knowledge or skill I was having, but yes, maybe, you know, I could have done, um, I could have made some probably three questions wrong uh, to secure 850, but in totality, I got passed successfully. And as I showed you, you know, this is the certificate you'll be getting. Uh, with all the details but immediately you will be getting this screen uh, or this message as soon as you uh, end the exam this main certification with the score uh, with this candidate id you will be getting it later and this certificate will be valid for three years as you can see here right it will be ending on october 2025 so with this note uh, i hope uh, you know these steps that i have followed and that has helped me to crack this exam without any uh, additional cost except the certification cost of course that you have to pay uh, and these are the steps which i have followed and has helped me to crack this exam i hope uh, this someone some of you might find this helpful and if any of you are planning to write this exam please follow this uh, or probably you know if you find any other way to uh, uh, you know crack this exam definitely go for it but again this is my personal experience which has helped me to crack this exam and and then i thought to share the same and these are the notes which i have prepared you know while uh, studying about uh, these things so please let me know if you are interested to uh, get these notes definitely i would be happy to share that with that note uh, i would like to say uh, to thank you each of you for watching this and whoever is going to write this exam, for all of them, a very, very good luck. Thanks a lot. Take care.